Yo, Oli Rodriguez here, hope you're all doing all right today. If you ask me how I'm doing, I'll tell you not very well because I've just tried doing a whole video which actually took 10 minutes to make and then before that it took me ages to get an actual intro going and the reason I'm restarting this video is because I just felt I was waffling too much and I kind of want to get straight into the point. But other than that, I'm doing all right. So anyway, last week at college, I was really rushing about to try and get my FMP done. And if you don't know what that stands for, it stands for Final Major Project. And what this is, is at the end of your college course, you take everything that you have learned and you do it, you basically put it all into one project that you get to choose to make. But then there's a lot of writing that goes with it and you've got to write about the whole process you have to do to actually create it from actually developing your ideas, to researching it, to actually talking about everything you've done to make the product, and then talking about everything like evaluating and reflecting on the project, the product that you've made, and actually what you think of it. And for my project, I decided I want to base it around the EP that I'm going to be releasing this summer. And just to quickly update you on that, I'll make another video about it. And to do the EP, I made two things. The first thing was this poster. And it's actually something I'm really proud about. I like how the color pops out. I like how everything kind of is really even and in line with each other and how, I don't know how to describe it, but in I don't want to like toot my own horn too much or anything, but it's kind of perfect. And it, there's nothing really to change about it. If there was one thing I would have to change about it, it would be the actual YouTube bit of the poster that's underneath the actual summer bit. But, I think it does work where it is. It may need to be rised a little bit more, but other than that, there's not much. I mean, yeah, I did try playing around with putting a QR code on the poster instead, but it just didn't really fit and the actual whole feel of the poster. But honestly, I think everything works really well in this poster. And if you want to know how I created this poster, I basically took my photographer, aka my girlfriend, Ellie, up to Cheryl Hill up in Calm, and we basically did this whole shoot, we did loads of different photos, we took a whole range of different photos for different reasons, some for front cover, some for back cover, and some for the poster. And I was able to capture the exact image that I had in my head, which I was really amazed by. And you might be like, you just said you had a photographer take the image. And yes, she did. But I actually gave the instructions of how I wanted the image to be, and actually took some test shots myself, and then gave the camera over to my photographer. So if anything, I'll take 88% of the credit for this image, whereas she can have 12%. And one of the great additions to this poster is the actual airplane in it. And you might think, oh, you probably took that and edited it. If you look to the raw picture of this, that airplane is exactly there. A quick summary of how I actually got the poster to be how it was. Went on Photoshop, played around with the camera raw filters and from exposure to contrast to actually luminance and hue and saturation and all this sort of stuff, like the whites and blacks and everything. I just like experimented fully with this image just to like see how I could create it and luckily I was able to find new ways to actually make it pop and how to like make the colors stand out and I'm just really impressed with this poster I made and it's actually maybe you actually want to try and design some other posters and try different uh, different things to actually do. But that wasn't the only thing I actually made. The second thing that I made was a lyric booklet. So the cover of this booklet is actually going to be what I used for the cover of the um EP itself, but I think I'm gonna go and like re-edit it and try and actually make it stand out a bit more because I think there's just something about it that I find a bit too, I'm not sure how to put it, I don't know, it's like the colour is too much like it's an evening, not like a summer day, which is what I'm trying to more go for for the vibe. And I'm gonna show you what the actual inside of the booklet looks like, but we're gonna have to change things up, so let's do a... So here we are at the front page of my actual booklet, so as you can see, this is the cover of the actual album itself, as i am already mentioned. I'm going to try and re-edit it and try and make it pop a bit more like the poster, I just feel like the colours aren't there. And also, if you look down here, it's like this bit pinky, and I don't really like it like that. So I'm going to have to kind of take it upon myself to edit, but I'll edit it all. But over here, like the actual logo bit itself, I actually really like, and that plane there is edited in from the poster. So I may want to actually reduce that, because you can kind Kind of see over here where it like kind of is edited but other than that it's all right but then moving over we have this and the reason why i'm videoing this as well is because you can actually click on all these so this for example if you click on there it actually takes you to my channel that will eventually load which is right here so if you haven't already go and press subscribe i can't do it because you can't subscribe to your own channel but you should 
you should definitely go there. So that's what happens when you click on there and it's like there's a few other links like that but then there's also all these pages that you can click on so it'll take you to the first page which is gravity and this is like this is now where we get into the actual songs themselves and like everything that it comes to and like what they say, all the lyrics for them and basically gives you all that sort of information you want to know about the songs. So currently for the EP there are five songs which are all here, all done, sort of written out and ready to go. I am at the moment going through rewrites, it's also the back page here that just nice little logo which also if you click here again it will take you to the actual site of my youtube channel and then also as you go here you can actually click on them and also as you press on the producer of the actual track it will take you to their website and like tell you where you can like find well basically just give you the place to buy their stuff and buy their beats so we will find ourselves back on the page and like there's one other producer you can find on here when you actually go on their page but another cool thing that I've added in to make this whole, whole thing a bit more interactive for the actual project itself is when you click on the actual I won't do it on this one but when you click on the title of the track it will start to play the actual song as you can now tell by how it's playing So yeah, this is basically everything that I've done for my FMP at the moment. So I think there are some issues with this. So like down here, for example, like some of the like actual text itself fades into the back of this, into the actual white here. I've tried fixing that using strokes on the actual text and seeing if it makes a difference, but I just don't really like how it looks. So this is probably not going to be like the final product when I eventually get around to making the physical EP and like making copies of it and stuff and make an actual lyric booklet and if I may actually do a version of the interactive booklet by itself and like actually put it out there for people to go out and find but yeah that's basically my booklet that I have made so let's go back to Ollie where he was. So that's what I made for my final major project at college. I hope you have enjoyed looking at this and seeing the actual stuff I've been doing away from YouTube. I would really appreciate if you could tell me what you thought of them down below and also if you have any questions about the EP or anything questioning about the actual poster or the lyric booklet themselves let me know in the comments down below I'd seriously appreciate it but also if you do want to know anything about the EP I will be making a video in the near future about it, I need to sort of run down some things of stuff I need to do for it. I may make that later for the week or whatnot, but essentially, yeah, the EP is coming this summer. I just need to sort some stuff out about it and yeah, I'll just make another video for that. For now, I hope you have enjoyed looking at what I've done for my FMP at college. For now, leave a like if you did enjoy these pieces and just subscribe if you want to see some more content from me because I just do random shit and talk about random stuff whatever I fancy really and also I do some vlogs here and there and occasionally I come out with a wrap a nice burrito maybe but anyway I have been on this